Welcome again, my name is Cheryl Peralt, and I'm here today to be the host for Poets for Peace that's happening in Hopkinton as part of our town's celebration and honoring of peace and the importance of peace in our community as well as in the larger world. And mainly when I talk about peace, I'm talking about people getting along with one another whether it be in our family very close to us, whether it be in our neighborhood, our community, our schools, our state, our world, and caring for one another. And that's what I think you, as writers, all show in what you've written and will be sharing today. Now, my friend Tom Smith is a singer-songwriter. He cares about peace. And I asked him to come and kick us off with a song. So Tom Smith is in the house. He comes from Dedham. If you could give a little hand of applause for Tom, he's going to share a song. Thank you, Carol. And when uh, Cheryl asked me to come here to sing a song, knowing that this is going to be words about peace, first thing that came to mind was my dog, Oscar. My dog, Oscar, and I like to go to a place called Peabody Hill. With the sun rising up over Peabody Hill Hear the first morning sound, coffee ground in the mill A little fire in the valiant will take off the chill There is peace here on Peabody Hill There's Oscar, he's in the corner, his tone is contrite Tells me he'd bark, but he never would bite. He was caught chasing chickens and the farmer's goodwill. Still there's peace here on Peabody Hill. With the sun rising up, over Peabody Hill Hear the birds and the kids As they twiddle and trill And spill out of their nests Their bellies to fill There is peace here on Peabody Hill All the kids play at Skittles They roll on the rug They pick some blueberries Chased back in by bugs Drop the berries in batter That we pour on the grill Peace and pancakes on Peabody Hill Sun rising up over Peabody Hill. I'm wanting for nothing, convenience nor frill. I hear the hum of cicadas, that's my sleeping pill. There is peace here on Peabody Hill. I'm still in my pajamas, the world has slowed down, there's no cell phone. No email, I left them in town Just the breath of the breeze In the trees breaks the still of The peace here on Peabody Hill There is peace 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 On Peabody Hill Thank you, Tom. And we are making peace here on Hopkinton.
hill today. How's that? And we are getting ready to get started here. I'm going to start calling your names in a few minutes. I did want to tell you that there is was the young poet Maddie Stepanek, who is considered a, a peace ambassador. Uh, for He started writing poetry when he was very young, three years old, I believe. Uh, maybe some of you have started at that age. And, uh, had a lot of caring for peace in the world. And he has actually six books of his poetry written between well, probably a little older, but up to age 14. Six books. And they were New York Times bestsellers also. And somebody also wanted to put music. I love music with poetry. Somebody put music to his poems. And he was up there on the charts also. So I have uh, one of Maddie's poems for you as you come up to read today um, to thank you. And at the end, I will offer you also a little poem, because I hope you continue writing what you are writing here today. Maddie said, peace is possible. It can begin simply over a game of chess and a cup of tea. And this is the poem that you'll receive is from Heart Songs, one of his books. And Maddie said, Heart Song is a person's special gift to be shared with others, or a person's reason for being. And I believe that all of you are going to be sharing some of your heart song today as you share your pieces of poetry and your words for peace. I'm going to start with some of the students from Elmwood School. They were invited because last year they were in second grade in Mrs. Altavilla's classroom, and I had the good fortune of being a reader for Community Reader, reader Day in there. And after I was done reading a book in that classroom, I received these wonderful thank you notes from the students in Mrs. Altavilla's class. I thought they were wonderful. First of all, I think it's wonderful to say thank you, to express what we're grateful for. That is a way of bringing peace into the world, to be saying thank you a lot, as these students did. And it is also, uh, it would bring us more global gratitude, I think, if we keep getting used to saying thank you to one another. So I thank these students for saying thank you. And I think also these students show imagination, and they show the realistic balance of thinking of self and others, and there's some sense of humor in some of the responses as well. I, I see a smile of recognition. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> OK. Um, the first student I'd like to introduce, and now they are in third grade, coming back to read these responses. And the first we have on the list is Lauren Gray. So if Lauren can come up, we will cheer her on. Hi, Lauren. That's, Hi. that's a great place. I think this is going to work fine okay. for you. And so you wrote this last year. And can you tell what the assignment for writing a thank you was to think about? It was to um, say what you were going to do when you were 92 years old. So that was part because that was in the book that we were reading about. And that was a creative activity. Could you read what you wrote? You'll do when you're 92. When I am 92 years old, I'll be doing horseback riding or getting a dog. I'll probably have lots of wrinkles. <laughs> I might even work out. Wow. I will probably get a horse. I might even get a barn. I might get lots of pets. I'll probably get one dog and one horse. Thank you, Lauren. And now I'd like to call to the stage Haley DeLuca. If ha oh, right in the front there. Hi, Haley. We, we're doing the welcoming up. We do a lot of clapping here. Hi, Haley. So you did the same assignment thinking yeah. about what you wanted to do when you're 92 years old. OK. And you're one year closer this year. Do you think that the goals are the same pretty much? Yeah. You think so? OK, well, I'm curious to hear, and if you could share with everyone what you'll do when you're 92, and just take your time and read a little slow so everyone can hear, and right up toward the mic. When I am 92 years old, I will play the violin for an orchestra. I will paint a portrait of Mrs. Altavilla. I will ride a tricycle, bake cupcakes, 
I will rustle men. I will count to a trillion. I will take care of an of an American girls all, and I will run the Boston Marathon and be in first place. <laughs> That's. <laughs> We'll go next to Olivia Hyman. If Olivia could come up. We'll clap her up. Hey, Olivia. Have a stand. Hi, Olivia. Hi. You did the same assignment, right? Uh, yeah. And you had some other ideas? Mm -hmm. uh, OK, so if you could maybe um, move your body a little closer forward. There you go. And just read nice and slow and loud. What I'll do when I'm 92. I'll fly around the world just like Amelia Earhart. She vanished on the day of my mom's birthday. I bet it would be so fun. And I don't want to bring a person with me in case something happens. <laughs> and we give you a clap. <laughs> and now we have Jack Brady. Jack, if you can come up and we clap you up here. A lot of clapping, huh, Jack? And you can scooch a little closer so we can hear you nice and loud and slow. And you were working on the same thank you note assignment, mm -hmm. and you had a little different plan for when you're 92. If you could read that, please. I'm going to teach people how to build robots, and I will be strong and smart, and I will ride my bike every day. I'll swim every day and do all that I can. Mm -hmm. oh, very nice. And we have one more, being Marvie Alley. Marvy, are you still in the house? And we can applaud her up as she comes down the aisle. Hi, Marvy. If you could take a stand and go right up close. And you also wrote a thank you note with some thoughts about 92 years of age. And um, could you move a little closer and, and please share them out loud with everyone? I wonder what hers, her idea is for 92. I would be exercising every day, and I would jog every day. I would write a letter to someone. I would write a letter two or three times in one week because I love to write. One of my favorite things to do is write a short, small poem. So, and that's Margaret. And now, we have a student, I believe second grade in Elmwood School, over at Elmwood School. And that is Sean Walker, if I am correct. Is, come on up, Sean. We'll clap you up here. Hi, Sean. Sean, um, are you in second grade now? Yes. Or, OK, you're in second grade now over at Elmwood School. And yeah. you have a story, a little story to share. Yeah. Um, did you write that this year or last year? Um, I wrote it this year. Okay, and um, it has a, a nice title. It goes with today's program. Can you read the title first to start? It's called right here. T Together We Can. Together We Can. All right, it sounds very interesting. And now if you could just share the story with us. A few days ago, I went over to my friend's house to play on his Wii game system. While he was playing, my friend's older brother came downstairs to where I was playing. He wanted to use the Wii too. A lot of times when we play together, it is hard because he is autistic and he has different interests than me. I was surprised that he was really good at the game and he worked it, we worked it out really well. When I got home, I couldn't wait to tell my mom about it. I told her it felt really good to play a game with someone I don't always understand how to play with. Together we can. Wow, how about that? Thank you. And next we have writers that I will be introducing who have been writing some poetry, whether at home or school, and they were interested in contributing some writing about peace today. And um, of different ages, we are going to start with Abby Hyde of Hopkinton. So if we can welcome Abby up here. Hi, Abby. And you brought one poem to share with us today? Yeah, it's about love. And it's about love, which is very important for peace. Do you agree? Yes. And this year, what grade are you in? Um, fourth. Fourth grade, OK. All right, well. And so it's good to hear that students of fourth grade are thinking about love and getting along. 
So if you could please share your poem with us. What is love? Love is a gift that everyone shares. Love is kindness, laughter, and care. Love is something people should treasure. Love gives happiness, comfort, and pleasure. Love is a sunrise about to grow bigger. It's a Valentine's Day card with kisses flowing out. Love smells like a garden sweet pea. Love feels like a cat snuggling next to you. Love sounds like laughter. Can give a hand to Abby? Next, I would like to call Mira Chada up. Uh, if we could give a hand as she comes up here to the stage. Hi, Mira. So Mira, you've brought a few poems uh, connected to peace and somehow. Mm -hmm. So uh, take it away. You can give the titles and, and read the poems to us, please. Love, dry the desert sands, wet the summer dew. My love for you of heart and hands is not false but true. Ivy tree. An ivy quilted tree with woven ivy for a bed and ivy for some woolen boots and ivy on its head. It sang beneath its plain bare cousins, a paintbrush in the dark, a light bulb in a gloomy attic, an ember in a spark. New light. Don't let your jumps end with falls. Start something new. Stand up. Don't crawl. The sun starts a day. The moon starts a night. What can you start to make a new light? Next, I would like to invite Vivek Gattar to come on up here uh, in the back there. Ah, so I see you brought one poem I had seen in advance, and you have some artwork with it yep. as well. So, um, are, do you like to write poems? Well, that was actually my first one. Your I first one. That. All right, well, uh, I look forward to hearing you read it out loud. Would you like to show your artwork before or after? Okay, and can you tell a little bit of what that is? Well, it's an umbrella and a rainstorm being pelted just flying around in the wind, being pelted by raindrops. Wow, uh -huh. that's a lot it goes of detail. With the story, actually. It goes so. with the story, so uh, if we can sit back and listen to the story and the poem. With one primary color, uh, uh, you can't story. mix, but with two or more colors, you can make new colors to paint with. Even the most beautiful paintings have mixed colors. The more colors you look at, you use in a painting, the more beautiful it is. Red was the umbrella in the picture in a picture of a rainstorm. Red wished for gray and blue. Blue came along to become the raindrops. I have to tell you, gray is at the science fair. He'll be back this afternoon, he said. Why don't we ask purple to be the sky instead? Instead, said red. Great idea, said blue. They went looking for purple. He was in his garden. Could you come and help us with the painting we're making? We need you for the sky. They went back and made a, the painting. The finished painting won a contest and was hung up in a museum. Of course, well, I wasn't thinking I was going to win. But what what's that? Say? Oh, well, that is wonderful. Let's have a hand for that. And now we have Carolyn Waters. And Carolyn's right in the front row. She doesn't have far to go. You can come on up here and give you a hand. I think we can just move this aside. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. And uh, uh, let's see, we had uh, just had the poem, and now you have a couple. Is that right? I have two, yes. Okay. And you have been writing poems on your own at home or at school? I've been writing at home and at school. Home and school. Mm -hmm. So you must like poetry a little bit. Yeah. What, what do you like about it? What do you think is... I think... What's I the just, good thing about it? I like the rhyming mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how it just flows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I look forward to hearing how yours flows. Okay. So if you could just read the title and then read your poem and then the next one also. Okay. The I Am Poem. I am Caroline. I wonder why pumpkins are orange and not pink. I hear flies buzzing. I see kids playing. I want Christmas to be every two months. I am a friend. I pretend to be a songwriter when I am bored. I feel excited. I touch one another with happiness. I worry that I will do something wrong. I cry when I hurt someone's feelings. 
I am full of excitement and love. I understand that, I've, that people have sensitive feelings. I say that a smile makes someone's day. I dream that I can fly and float on clouds. I try to be a good friend. I hope that I can be there for everybody. I am glad I am who I am. Happiness. Happiness is born by people. Sounds like kids playing and birds chirping. Looks like flowers blooming. Smells like homemade honey and friendship floating around in the air. Feels cozy and excited. Gets sad when people don't smile. Dies when everybody gets upset. Happiness. I believe uh, the next person to share poetry is uh, a friend of yours, also, probably 10 in fifth grade, too, and that's Bridget Lee. Oh, there you are, Bridget. <laughs> I was looking too far out there. Hi. Hi. Are you the same at 10? Yes. In fifth grade, all right. And you brought one poem to share with us today? Yes. All right. Um, could you please share the title and then read the poem? And you just step up a little closer so we can hear you really well. Okay. If I were if I were in charge of the world, if I if I were if I were in charge of the world, my parents would let me eat candy 24/7. There would be no violence, and baby pigs would be a common family pet. If I was in charge of the world, I would go to bed at whatever time I wanted to. Homework would be optional, and weekends would be three days long. If I was in charge of the world, it would be safe to hitchhike. There, I would get way more allowance, and most of the things at stores would be free. If I was in charge of the world, war would end, people wouldn't get sick, and go-cars could be driven on roads. This world would be so much better if I was in charge of the world. <laughs> Now I would like to invite Morgan Dugas to come up. Uh, Morgan, they're in the second row. We'll clap her up here. Hi, Morgan. Hi. You're here for the first time. And uh, are you from the town of Hopkinton? No, I'm from Medway. Medway, okay. And uh, what is your age? Um, 11. 11 years, okay. And so, uh, Morgan, uh, you brought a poem about peace. Yeah. And the title is, What is Peace? So that's just the right title we want here. What is peace? Oh, I'm so confused today, and here, oh, here is why. Mom said to go find the peace in myself. No more shouts may I cry. So I went outside and thought for a while, but I still cannot decide. What does she mean? What's the secret that she still hides? I've kicked a ball, gone for a walk, played with my cat and dog, jumped some rope, climbed a tree, and played baseball with just me and my bat. I scream in frustration and think, oh, how hard can this be? I just want to walk through the doors and again be free. I sit down, tired of yelling and thrashing, breathe and close my eyes tight. And at once I start to feel safe and warm, everything's starting to feel all right. My need to scream and yell and thrash suddenly went away replaced by the feeling that you get when night turns into day. At last I knew what my mom meant when she said, go find your peace. Oh yes, this must be what she meant. All right, I feel at ease. And now as my mom calls me at the door, I have a grin from ear to ear. I should do this more often, I thought, right over here. Well. Now, who is not on our written program, but who is here today to share some poetry is Ali Palacios. Please help me welcome Ali. Hi, Ali. You can come up a little closer. And Ali, how old are you right now? Nine. Nine years old, okay. And I know you've been to, here to share some poetry in the past. Uh, you've been writing it uh, for a couple of years. And um, what have you written about today? Um, so I read a poem about friendship and about nature. Friendship and nature. Because um, in the suggestions, we did suggest uh, if you write about nature, the beauty of nature and um, how good it can be to go outside and all the beautiful things that are there, that is a form of practicing peace, enjoying what the earth has. So I'd like to invite you to get a little closer and uh, nice and loud, and the mic will pick you up there. Okay. Friendship. The waves of friendship, never waning, never ending, roaming to bigger skies. That is you. A scene of lilacs, I remember you. 
a rose bush. You are the rose. You are pretty, loyal, and open hearted. You are my friend. Feeling nature. A cardinal hopping along a grassy hill, looking for the perfect mate. I spy a bleeding heart showing its love to the world. A leaf green from the long days of rest. A cherry tree, the petals like tissue paper under my hands. Nature is beautiful, nature is natural. Why is there pollution? to tell you this is our uh, brother-sister segment because we have a few uh, family members of the same family here today. And now I'd like to welcome up Liam Palacios. If we could give him a hand coming up. Here. Hi, Liam. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. And uh, what is your age this year here? Twelve. 12 years old. Uh, Liam's been here for previous student poetry. I remember in the past, maybe you were a little lower to the ground reading about Frankenstein. And today you're here to read about peace or something related to that. And you have one poem? Two. Two poems. So uh, if we can all sit back and listen, and Liam's going to share some words of peace. Uh, flowers. Flowers. When I went outside, all the flowers jumped out at me. There were yellow, white, and purple flowers. Some smelled good and some not at all. Purple lilacs, yellow forsythia, pink cherry, and some with an unknown name, all in a mumbo jumbo of colors. Uh, up on a mountain, up on Zealand Hut in the early morning, a far off mountain floating in the clouds, a giant fog machine making the smooth clouds around me. All around me are the sounds of nature, the rushing water, the birds saying hello to the chilly morning, and the trees stretching their branches to the sun. In front of me, the steep drop into the forest below, all made even more beautiful because of the wet, long, soggy hike the day before. Is this morning real? And now, I would like to call up to our stage, Mirabella Pellucci. If you could welcome, oh, there you are, Mirabella. Hi, Mirabella. Mirabella, thank you for uh, joining us today. And you brought a few poems to share? I two. Two, yes. And I know uh, that you participated in the uh, local uh, reflections uh, contest, and some of you others have as well, um, which is our local contest of creative arts in writing and visual arts and different things. And uh, you brought one of them. Uh, I believe that uh, you received, uh, was it first place for that? Yes. yes. Uh huh. So uh, did you want to read that one first or last? First. First. And congratulations to you. And it looks like the title has something to do with peace. So if you read it nice and loud and we'll listen, take it away. Together we can create happiness as easy as ABC. A, always try to be nice. B, bake a cake together. C, create joy. D, do the right thing. E, ensure everyone is included. F, find friends and do a project. G, give a smile to someone. H, have a nice day. I, infuse your friends with laughter. J, join in everyone's invited club. K, know that friends are always special. L, look around you and you'll find love. M, make another person laugh. N, never lie to others. O, often try to be good to your mom and dad. P, put a smile on so someone's face. Q, question things that are hard. R, read to your friends. S, step outside and see nature. T, try to agree with others. U, understand other people's feelings. V, vote. W, walk away from fights. X, expect others expect to help others. Why? You can make your friends day by doing these things. Z, zip up your zip up friend with fun with your friends. Well, thank you. Stay there for a minute. Marabella, some wonderful advice here. Read to your friends, step outside and see nature. Try to agree with others. We should uh, post this in homes and schools, I think. Uh, it's wonderful advice on thinking about how to create happiness and get along. And you have one more for us? All right, can you share that also? About a rainbow. I see a rainbow, you see it shine. I see some colors, you see some vines. I see some clouds, you find the flowers. I found a crown, thank God for the showers. Well, thank you. 
you very much. Mirabella's brother is here also uh, to share some poetry, and his name is Matthew Pellucci. So you brought two poems for us today? Mm -hmm. How long have you been writing poetry? I have no idea to ask my mom that question. Uh, mom's sorry. in charge of that kind of question. Well, I, I thank you for what you've written today. I see that you're 10 years old also. No, and, I'm 13, actually. Oh, you're 13. Okay, so this is an older poem, this is an older. which we can do. I have a poem from third grade I still read sometimes, mm. and that's a little bit old. <laughs> Save your poems. That's good advice. Well, thank you for reading today, and um, what else do you like to do besides write poetry sometimes? Uh, something you'd like especially to do after school? Or just school all day and night? No. No, <laughs> I, not going to school. That's my favorite part. Not going to school. Okay, well, I imagine there are some good, peaceful some kind of activities you can do yeah. when you're not going to school, too. Let's hear what you have to say um, here for Peace Day today. If you could read your title and then nice and slow. Mm. Okay. Amazing Moms. Look at your mom, not with your eyes, but with your heart. She's so smart and so caring for you. She makes sure you don't feel blue. She protects you with a mother's love as warm and sweet as a morning dove. A mother is so helpful and kind, and only with you is a special bind. So it's no surprise for you to learn that turning well upside down reveals your mom. Beauty is love. Beauty for me is love, because even in the darkest of times, it's shining its light from above. Love is beautiful for our is a solution to an enormous amount of obstacles in our lives. Love, is, love gives my family might. When you find love, it is like God lifting you higher and higher with your spirits. And that makes everyone and their hearts mightier. Love is everything. Now, sister, to uh, uh, someone who read earlier in the program, uh, and that was Marvie, and now we have Sister Zara Ali coming up. So if Zara can come on. Come on down. Zara. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming today and sharing your words. And this is, would you say this is a poem or a story or a little of both? A uh, little of both. A little of both, okay. It, it looks uh, interesting and important words. And I would love for everyone to hear, so if you sit tight, um, the title looks very interesting. If you could share the title and then go, go on and read the words. America, our kaleidoscope of cultures. People came to the United States of America for political freedom, religious freedom, and economic opportunity. When they came to Ellis Island, their different cu cultures, religions, and traditions fused together to form what is now America. The immigrants worked together to form our great nation. No one could have done this alone. We celebrate holidays for the world's different cultures to make it one beautiful multi-culture country. That's why I created this poem in honor of my country, America. Millions enter my land, children reaching out for their parents' hand. Glad America is the land of opportunity. Millions of immigrants step onto me, people, people with cultures of all kinds, all waiting to enter in lines, hoping America is a land of freedom. Refugees leave their countries fleeing deadly wars, begging to be accepted, knowing that in America they can build a new life, seizing new opportunities and opening a new door, knowing America is a country of honor. Many people will enter my borders, immigrants assimilate and accept new cultures, gathering for prayers as temple, mosque, or church bells toll, thinking America the melting pot. I, America, am all of those things. I am the land of opportunity, the land of freedom, America the melting pot, and the country of honor. Every song has a story, and each and every immigrant comes with a different life story. So think of me as a song. A song is made up of tunes, beats, and notes. In reality, I am like that made up of different people with varied cultures, nationalities, and ethnicities. People come, came to me for money, jobs, and a new life, and that's exactly what they found. I am a diverse and prosperous country. I am glad America is a nation of immigrants. Last on our list before we move on to the Montessori School, is Julia Cousins. If, if Julia could come here, please. There she is in the back. 
Hi, Julia. Hello. Thank you for coming out to read today. Uh, I know that you had some exciting news about one of your poems. Mm -hmm. uh, you received an award yeah. uh, for one of them that you're sharing here. Um, are you able to tell the title of that award? Um, I got one award um, first place in a poetry slam, but that wasn't really an award. But mm -hmm. one of them is a national contest, and I'm a semifinalist, mm -hmm. so I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. So you're moving on in that contest? Uh -huh. Well, um, you know, uh, sharing out, you never know where your poems will go. Sometimes they go in contests. Sometimes they just get read out loud, and it clicks with someone, and it makes all the difference in their life. And maybe it ends up in a thank you card, or it ends up on somebody's wall. Uh, I know a woman in a nursing home who would send her poems out to her doctor who put it on his desk, a letter of thank you, and she sent a, a poem out to NASA also for those who did their space work. And uh, so you never know where a poem will go, and congratulations for your work. And if you could uh, share both of those, the title, and step up a little bit, please. Um, the one that I won the award for is called Perfectly Imperfect. A wilted rose lies on the sidewalk, petals crumpled and darkened. The stem is bent and dirty, and the last remaining leaf is crushed and hanging on by a thread. God walks by all of the beautiful roses, stopping by the wilted rose. He picks it up and smiles. God loves the way he made us. Every last creature and thing on earth is made with the same pattern in mind, and God loves us the same, even though he knows how very imperfect we are. Perfectly imperfect. And this one um, I wrote for an English assignment for school, but I really liked it, so I brought it. Jump into your dreams with your whole heart. Share what you need and you'll never need again. Never put yourself down. Believe that you're not average, but above average. Love even when it seems the weird thing to do. Go against the crowd and don't back down. Think up crazy schemes just for the fun of pretending and don't be embarrassed to pretend. Push yourself more than anything else. Wanting more leaves you with less than you had before. Love fully, hurt, de hurt deeply, and forgive entirely because everything has a reason. Stop trying to lead yourself in a blind world. Don't be ashamed to say that you're sorry, that you love someone, that you are wrong, or that you deserve something you don't want. If you believe it's impossible, it is. If you believe you can do it anyway, you can. If you succeed, rejoice. Don't change because the one who made you seemed to think you were pretty great, and the words you'll regret the most are the ones you didn't say. Well, that uh, is our written part of this program, and now we're going to see a program coming from the Montessori students over in Southboro, and Binky's going to come up, and it's a little more action, so get ready for this and what's going to happen. It's very exciting. I'm so glad you're here to do this. Binky actually led a workshop in her house in Hopkinton and had these students come out and work on this project she's going to be describing. So I will let Binky DeColibus come up here and share news of this, and we'll welcome her up. Hi, my name is Rowan Trelty. Peace is love. <coughs> Hi, my name is Alexandra Gray, and peace is joy. This is my friend Owen Addington. Peace is wishing on a star. Um when we talked about this on the first day, when we, um, we started with sitting on yoga mats. We introduced ourselves because these children are from different sessions. They don't necessarily know each other. We talked about feelings of comfort, feeling peaceful, and making others feeling, feel peaceful. We talked about what they brought, and we talked about other things in the world that comfort it. There could be worry beads, worry dolls, different things. Um, and we started by doing some peaceful breathing, talking about calming ourselves down, which is helpful to me now. <laughs> uh, how do we calm ourselves? How do we center ourselves? And we started with that. Um, we have these two globes. This is a, one of the exercises that they also did. 
started here. When you hold these in your hand, we'd like you to hold this globe and make a wish for peace for the earth, for animals, for countries, for people. And please pass it to the next person. And so as we're up here, you could just pass that around and make a wish. Um, we talked about Jeremy Gilley and his work to achieve the Day of Peace. We showed pictures of him. We talked of Maria Montessori and her life and work in creating peaceful schools. They made a self-portrait. And we started, that was one of the things that we started with. Here's Josh. We also, I took out a box and I opened it up and said, I took out symbols of peace. A dove, a peace symbol, a crane, an olive branch, and we talked about these things, what they meant. We looked at many types of peace doves depicted on Google Images and asked them to go home and find one that they really liked and print it out and bring it back the next day. They created their own peace boxes, and in those boxes they have little artifacts, anything they want to add, a journal uh, in which they wrote three words of peace. Um, and they finished the day on their mats holding their small globe and making a wish for peace in the world um, as well. Um, also, Kate brought in the Maddie Stepanek. I kept saying Stepanek, Step Stepanek book. And we talked about that being his box of peace because that book contains his drawings, his poems, his thoughts, his wishes, and his prayers for everything he saw around him. So that was another thing. On the second day, uh, I had ordered a peace banner and realized that that was not going to arrive. So I grabbed some fabric, we took some paint, and we made these banners uh, using making doves with hands in white paint. The best thing was, um, they helped each other. I could step back and I watched it unfold and it was what I had hoped, that they took control of this. They, I became the assistant, they became each other's leaders and helpers. And that's what I wish, the, the, the talk about peace really came around the next day. Um, they would talk about were they being peaceful, what they were saying was that peaceful, and that just kind of happened. And that's really what I was hoping for. Um, we finished that day by them practicing, not knowing if you were going to have stage here, and, um, and practicing that. So these are my children. I'm very proud of them. And I think that peace begins, where does peace begin with? Me. You, right. That's right. Tom Smith has very kindly offered to stay coming here since 10 o'clock this morning. Yep. And he has a peace song to send well, us out front with like before we have our own peace. Uh, like so, like. always that I love he, uh, I love poetry with music, Tom Smith once again. Thank you. This is wonderful. Thank you very much, kids. Loved your poetry. Uh, I have a bunch of postcards back there if you'd like to find out more about my music and where I'm playing over the next couple of months. Let's sing together, okay? I gonna lay down my sword and seal down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside, down by the riverside. You know the song? I ain't gonna study war no more. 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 Now you don't know this, but over the last hour, you and I have written a song together. I've been listening to the words that you've been saying, and they are so wonderful. I had so many words I wanted to write down and put into this song. I have a couple of them for you. I couldn't put everybody in because we don't have enough time. But here's what some of you have said. I'm going to write a poem for peace. Where? Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. 
down by the riverside. I'm gonna write a poem for peace. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. You also said this. I'm going to tell everyone, together we can. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I'm going to tell everyone, together we can. Down by the riverside, it's down by the riverside. I ain't gonna study war no more. 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 Love is found in hearts and hands down by the riverside. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, love is found in hearts and hands. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I like that one. I am full of excitement and love. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I hear you. Down by the riverside, I'm full of excitement and love. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Here we go. I ain't gonna study war no more. 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 I have two more for you. Here we go. My mom told me, go find your peace. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. My mom told me, go find your peace. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. And you also said this, nobody can do it alone. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Down by the riverside, nobody can do it alone. Down by the riverside, it's down by the riverside. Last chance, here we go. I ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. I ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you for sharing your words of peace. Thank you to all parents and friends and family who came here today to honor peace a little bit in our HPM studio. Thank you to the crew here today who came on Saturday and made this day happen. Thank you to our writers, writing the sentences, writing the poem. Keep it on. Let's have a hand for all the writers here today. Thank mm -hmm. you.